today I wanted to make this video because I had um, actually a, a lot of you guys recently commenting about um, how to stop my hamster from chewing on the bars or the wire bars on the cage. Also, I'm really sorry if I sound a little bit different. I've been kind of having a sinus problem issue which is driving me nuts and I think I'm starting to get sick so I really apologize if I sound like a completely different person. I thought we could just talk about this topic today and kind of go over a few things. First thing I definitely recommend is making sure that you have like a ton of chew toys available for your hamster. And remember every hamster is different so some hamsters are not like going to be totally into wood chews, you know, whereas some other hamsters would, you know, destroy a wooden chew. Sometimes, you know, it can be a little difficult to get your hamster interested in a wooden chew. Um, but like I said, you know, there's other hamsters that go straight for it. It's like a tiny, tiny bit of creamy peanut butter and just smear it on the wooden chew and that might help your hamster kind of smell it and want to chew on that particular wooden chew. Usually what helps me get my hamsters to chew on the the wooden ones. Ochi is actually not having a problem uh, chewing on the wood ones. She's a big wood chewer, so which is a good thing. Whimsy chews are amazing. Every single hamster that I've ever owned loves whimsy chews. And then like there's also cheesy chews. The cheesy chews I kind of give in moderation. I wouldn't want to give my hamster one every single day. Just because I kind of consider the cheesy chews more as a treat. Yeah, having a ton of chews in the cage can really help um, prevent bar chewing. The thing that I recommend is moving or providing, let's say providing a bunch of toys and things to do for your hamster in the cage. The hamster has the same setting or just the same thing in the cage like all through the month. It might become really, really bored. It might become, you know, a little bit uninterested just because him or her is seeing the same thing constantly every single day. <laughs> Changing things up in the cage from time to time or adding some new things to the cage really help prevent them from getting bored too easily and then possibly going going to the bars, to the wire bars and chewing them. The last thing that we're going to talk about today is you want him or her to completely stop um, biting the bars. I really, really, really recommend upgrading them to a different cage. Um, aquariums and tanks make wonderful cages and there's no bars. Uh, in sight obviously even if you make like a bin cage those are great cages as well personally don't really recommend wired cages uh, unless your hamster doesn't have you know uh, a problem with it and doesn't you know constantly chew on it honestly it really just depends on uh, you know the, the hamster itself you know your hamster the best you have a wire cage and your hamster doesn't chew on them constantly that is great like I said if it is a huge problem and your hamster just doesn't stop I really really recommend just getting uh, an aquarium or a tank just make sure that it is the recommended um, minimum requirements which now has changed to 450 square inches of floor space it used to be 360 but just make sure the cage is big enough for your hamster that should completely stop your hamster from chewing any bark. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Um, I know it was a quick one. So it helped answer some of your questions about bar chewing and I will see all of you guys really really soon. Bye!